Welcome to episode six of the Crazy Viking Cooks in Mexico. Today we're doing crispy ginger fried beef or Szechuan ginger beef. This happens to be one of my favorite dishes to make. It's uh, a little bit of prep time in terms of the chopping, but once all the chopping is done, everything goes relatively quickly. So we start off, oh sorry, we start off with a sip of scotch because that's mandatory. I'm drinking Glenfiddich 12 year old. I start with two eggs, I beat the eggs. I'm told that that's cruel, but I don't think so. <laughs> and then we add in half a cup of water. And what we're making right now is the coating for the beef itself. And then we slowly add three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. And so the, the point is that we're going to take, um, for this particular recipe we're using half a pound or roughly uh, 500 grams of uh, thinly sliced flank steak. Um, in this particular case, I didn't have flank steak in the fridge, so we're using sirloin, so uh, somebody gets the uh, better end of the deal. So what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, once this is mixed, I'm gonna be putting the sliced meat, and by the way, it's easier to slice the meat if you put it in the freezer for about a half an hour so that it's a little bit uh, thicker, and um, then uh, it will, or pardon me, a little bit more solid. It's easier to slice when it's more solid. Otherwise, it's a bit of a challenge. So now I'm going to, uh, this is where we get our hands dirty. We're going to put in the beef. And we're going to mix it all up so that the beef is coated. I have a deep fryer uh, sitting beside me. The temperature is set to, uh, to 375 degrees um, and it's ready to go. But what's important is that if you put in one big clump all at once, you end up with it all stuck together and that's not what you want to do. So you need to uh, gradually add more of the meat. And uh, now that it's coated, uh, whoa, I'm going to get uh, a piece of paper towel or my wife is going to give me a, <laughs> it's kind of pointless because I'm going to get it all gooey again, but I want to be able to grab the handle. So <clears throat> we take the basket and we, I like to sort of distribute them on the bottom. Uh, so that they're not all in one spot and uh, once the bottom is covered then I slowly add additional meat on top and the point is to cook it until it's a nice crispy brown color and uh, after the meat is cooked we take it out and drain it into the we dump it into the bowl to allow some of the fat the uh, grease to drip off and then we'll be working on the um, sauce itself. Uh, the key here is that it's a, it's a ginger and garlic based dish so if you like ginger and garlic then you'll love this dish and um, if you don't like ginger and garlic well move on to the next recipe. So we're going to continue adding a few more pieces. I have a lot of meat here so I'll probably end up cooking it in two, two batches. So we're going to pause at this moment to let this cook and then you'll see it coming out of the fryer in a few minutes. So while the beef is cooking I thought I would explain to you uh, the rest of the ingredients that are going into the sauce. We have one uh, diced red bell pepper, one green diced red bell pepper, uh, you want to cut them into bite-sized pieces because the whole purpose is this is an Asian meal and you should be able to eat it with chopsticks. 
We have one entire grated uh, carrot. We have three uh, green onions, spring onions. We have a quarter cup of uh, grated ginger. And we have five cloves of uh, chopped and grated garlic. And this is gonna be uh, fried in the, in the wok until it's uh, kind of golden brown. And then we're going to, in a small bowl, we're gonna be mixing the soya sauce, the rice vinegar, and the sugar, and that will constitute the liquid portion of the recipe. So I'm just gonna check the uh, beef now, and it's getting pretty darn close. I'll give it another minute or two. So we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, I think the beef is ready now, the first batch of beef. So this is what it should look like. It should be nice and crispy. And we're going to dump that into the bowl here with a paper towel on the bottom uh, to absorb the grease. We don't want a greasy meal, but we also know that it's, it's deep fried. So there you have it. Uh, we'll be back with you in a moment. The second batch of the beef, because we've got a lot of beef, I gotta take a sip of scotch. <laughs> It calms my nerves when I'm working next to boiling uh, boiling oil and getting my fingers all gooey in the meat. So I think we're going to be done. I've uh, sampled the uh, already cooked crispy uh, beef and it is absolutely delicious. By the way, um, my wife makes me make this dish on Wednesdays uh, because um, the maid comes on on Thursday, so as you can see, I'm making a little bit of a mess. But don't be afraid; it's a delicious meal. If you don't have a maid, well, it sucks for you. You should live in Mexico. <laughs> All right. So the rest of the meat's gone in. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're now in the sauce uh, section of the uh, crispy ginger fried beef. So we start by putting in, we cover the bottom of the uh, wok with uh, canola oil or your favorite cooking oil. Uh, we're going to let it get warm and we're adding in a quarter cup, a quarter cup of uh, grated ginger. And remember, it's ginger and garlic that really make this dish. The uh, beef has been set aside and is drying uh, and will be incorporated into the sauce once the sauce is done. Remember, here's the ginger fried beef. Yummy. We've pre-tested it without the sauce and it's delicious. Uh, so that's the ginger going in. Now we add uh, five cloves of garlic. Um, I actually cheated. I put in six because I like uh, I like a lot of garlic, but the recipe calls for five. And we're gonna get this uh, nicely browned together. And then I'm gonna be adding uh, the bell peppers. Oh, pardon me. I gotta do the onions first because that's part of the aromatic uh, portion of this. So I'm gonna put them in. And that is three uh, chopped green onions. And then while that's cooking, we're going to make, uh, we're gonna put in the bell peppers in a, in a minute, but in, while that's cooking, we're going to make the, the ooey gooey sauce. Um, and to do that, we have uh, half a cup of Sugar, we're adding in uh, half a cup of soya sauce. No, three quarters of a cup of soya sauce. And we're adding in a quarter cup of uh, rice vinegar. So this is gonna be added at the end of the process after the vegetables are nicely cooked. So I'm gonna add in the bell peppers one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper.
and they mix it all about, do the hokey pokey and take a sip of whiskey. That's how I cook in my kitchen. Happy cook, good food. So, this takes about uh, two minutes to get things cooked um, to a perfect consistency. I personally like the vegetables to be a little bit crispy to tie in with the concept of a crispy ginger beef. Um, you can cook them longer if you want and I generally add the grated uh, carrots at the end more as a garnish than uh, you know it's uh, it adds flavor for sure but it's not as uh, important as the rest. Uh, sometimes I make the ginger fried beef without uh, the peppers. It really depends on the audience, who you're feeding, what their preferences are. But tonight we're doing both red and uh, green bell peppers. And it actually makes the whole meal look colorful, flavorful, and uh, impress the heck out of your guests. All right, we'll be back to you in a little bit when it's finished cooking and then we'll be adding the uh, crispy ginger beef and the sauce. Once again, don't forget to give me likey fingers and subscribe to my channel down below. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the vegetables have been uh, nicely cooked. I need a sip. And uh, in case I forgot to mention, don't forget to give me the likey fingers and subscribe to my channel. Now I'm putting in the, the soy sauce, the sesame uh, oil, the hoisin, and we're going to let it boil for approximately two minutes until it's good and hot. And then we're going to add the uh, shredded carrots. And when it all comes to a nice boil, we're going to add the uh, ginger beef, or pardon me, the, uh, the uh, crispy ginger beef that came out of the deep fryer earlier. And we're gonna let this boil for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, now we're putting in some ground black pepper and some kosher sea salt. Not exactly sure how the rabbis managed to get into the ocean to make the seawater kosher, but there you have it. And now we're going to incorporate the uh, fried beef slowly so we don't splash. Whoa. And it all made it into the bowl. That's amazing. Although we have some close hangers on, on the side. So now we're going to mix it all up and let that yummy sauce get into the beef combined with the vegetables. And it'll be about two minutes. Whoa, we only had a getaway there. <laughs> and oh my god it's going to taste so wonderful and the beef is so crispy okay I think I'm going to let it sit for a moment and take a drink of scotch like you do cheers all right, the Crazy Vikings ready to taste the crispy ginger slash Szechuan beef. Mmm. Delicious. Don't forget to give me the two likey fingers and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> 